Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. And on tonight's episode, I am joined by a very good friend of mine. Cypher Deck! Hey, everybody. <laughs> I should have said his name, but I, I, I like him letting him do it because he has a really good intro there. So, uh, yeah, we are coming out here and just kind of finishing up what we had before. On the last episode, we did kind of go up to the very top of the mountain, which you can't even see here because we're in, you know, a uh, little valley that's covered up by these mountains. But we yeah. went up there, got a nice little view, kind of just took a little bit of time to explore the game for, you know, the beauty that it has with it. And now we're going to finish this quest off, which is to use the the reins to fly back with this, this griffin over here. Now, this is kind of what I was talking about on the last episode, where you used to have to do quests like this before you got access to the griffins. Nowadays, when you go into a new zone, if there's a griffin or a mount where there's a, a horse that you can get on or a hot air balloon, whatever the case may be, you instantly have access to all the waypoints in the map. And you can go there very, very quickly and very easily. In the old days, you used to have to go to those locations manually, like on foot, yeah. and find them, do a quest for them. And they weren't always easy quests to do either. And then you had yeah. access to that. Hello. Commons man in Antica. You what? It, I remember doing the quest for both in Antica and uh, and um, Commons. Just because of the fact that you had to get around, and it took forever uh, before they added mounts to the game yeah. to get anywhere. Yeah, Thundering Steps is the one I remember the most, because you had to go find the eggs for the oh, Griffins. Oh, yeah. And the eggs were, like, out in the middle of, like, the dangerous part of the zone. <laughs> yeah. And we did get an item right there, guys. This is an item that you can only get by doing this quest, and it's unlimited charges, which is really nice. The Winged Horn... Uh, duration is one minute, and it summons a limited pet to aid the caster. So that's kind of cool, but it only does it during the fight. You have to use it on the enemy. It doesn't do a lot of damage, to be honest. It really does no damage, but it's just kind of cool to be able to kind of play around with it and have a pet if you're not a pet class. So yep. anybody can use that one. If you are able to, you have... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be killing with it. If you just are able to, <laughs> <laughs> right. you, you definitely check it out. Yes. The and I got a new Report. item there, so let's see. Is that better than what I had? I think it is. What do we got here? Seven wisdom, seven intelligence, six stamina versus an item that has nothing on it? Yeah, I'm going to go with the item that uh, that has stats to it and get rid of this old one. I, you know, it's not the greatest look in the world, so I'm not going to hang on to it. You definitely could if it's something that you uh, you find is, is kind of cool for you as far as looks goes. And since yeah. we, we did take the time to go up and look at something the last episode just because we we're able to do it there is somewhere you can go up here as well you can go up these steps the steps aren't exactly always the easiest to climb up sometimes but you can climb these things up pretty far if you do kind of get stuck on one my suggestion would be to go up these edges these uh you know these uh red parts if you can get up the first area let me see and then we can go up the step and then jump over yeah right here if i could jump Wait. Are you climbing again? Yeah, yeah, just to show people. Gnomes, man. Gnomes and they're climbing. Hey, we got a, we got a complex, man. Napoleon complex. We like to be as high as possible. They think they're they think they're the biggest people in the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel that. But yeah, you can climb up here pretty far. See if you jump oh. off. Yeah, jump over here to the the edge. Oh, oh, there you, no, oh, not too oh, far. Oh, 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 what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, kept going from one edge to the other. Yeah, I'm, I get where I'm, I think I'm gonna fall either way. So, oh. but this is about as far as you can go coming this direction. You can always go over to the mountain over here to the side and maybe be able to get onto it. If you come over, if you go back the way we came. Oh boy, I don't even know if we should go um go over to that mountain from here. I can well, fly over to it. There, oh. oh, I'm gonna die probably. Oh. Are you? Uh, and, uh, see, there's there's steps over here that you can kind of climb up as oh, well. Oh yeah, you see those? Oh, they're this not is crazy. Not exactly this, oh, the easiest steps. Almost missed it. Almost missed it. <laughs> <laughs> not exactly the easiest steps to get up. So I like to go no. the the cheating way, which is come over here to the left. And again, find the find the line in the mountain and climb up that, and yep. you're you're able to get up here to the very top, and you can look around a little bit. You know, I know some of you guys probably don't care. Like, why would you come up here? There's nothing here, but it's just you know something that's kind of unique, and a lot of people probably will never get to see this. I can't make that jump, unfortunately, so I'm I not gonna be able to jump either. that. Um, I'm gonna try though, just kind of a 
Um, yeah. Well, jump, jump right here in the middle then because there's the safety net of if you fall, you fall right here on this little platform. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that's why. Oh, I'm definitely not going to make that. How, how big that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty big, man. I mean, unless you're a big class like a barbarian or an ogre, you're, you're going to get close with those, but you're probably still not going to make it. But it's just hey, kind of cool. You have, you have some steps to go. Oh, wow, those are st <laughs> steep steps. Oh, wow, look at that. Don't die. Yeah, no, oh, I mean, fuck. your life goes up so quickly in this game that, uh, at least at this level anyways, because you have no life whatsoever, that uh, it's not really that big of a deal if you fall. But yeah, just something to, to think about when you're going through these areas is stop, take a minute, explore, see what you can find. It's definitely worth it for you. So oh, we, yeah. we need to take the Southern Pass down uh, and speak with um, with one of these NPCs. And this is kind of difficult to find, especially before they had the maps integrated so yep. that it would show you where to go. You have to come over here. That's where we got the quest, right over there. And if we follow Cypher Deck over here, I'll let him lead the way. If you follow him, he's going to lead us down here this little path that is virtually hidden. It's just around the corner, around the bin. Uh, you, you're not going to find this unless, again, of course, you take the time to kind of look around. And nice thing about this is you pretty much float down the whole thing because it's a very steep. Once you get to about right here or so, yep. Well, oh, I'm you, close. I'm I was going to say, you'll be able to float down. I'll be able to fall. <laughs> I always go up here, and then I just jump off and float all the way down if I can. Yep, there we go. There we go. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> See, that? this is me floating. Falling <laughs> with style. <laughs> Listen to my guy jump. It sounds like he's having a hernia. <laughs> Horrible. Gnomes, man. They don't got a lot of strength. <laughs> they don't got a lot of Did anything. Um, that's not true. They got a lot of hair. <laughs> my guy's like 40% hair right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, but you know that's that's the guy I went with. He's a uh, older gentleman with glasses, and actually, no, I couldn't put the glasses on this guy. That's right. I could have either the facial hair, or I could have glasses. It's a weird, you know, choice to have to make. Do I want glasses or do I want facial hair? You think you'd be able to have both, but I think it's a little bit too much for him. Oh wow, she's actually saying alarm. Yeah. And, yeah. and the name, they I think. Last long <laughs> the name I think you were talking about is over here to this side. Yep. If I remember correctly. He's between those two. Mm, not yet he's not. I guess maybe or, somebody's killed him? Or he doesn't spawn until we get the quest. Um, I don't know. I know I've killed him there several he is. times. There he is. Yeah, somebody must have just killed him. Uh, yep. Nice. So there's somebody else over here in this area. Let me do my little area effect spell. And there's a shiny inside that tent. Definitely a little uh, nice yep. little place to spend some time. Yeah, this place has a lot of um, shinies. And remember, guys, if you are doing a uh, you know a collection, and you move on a little bit deeper time. into the zone, and you're no longer getting that same collection anymore, you may have to go back to an earlier spot to be able to get what you need. Ooh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I agreed on that one. Agreed on that one myself. And there's a book right there on top of the crate, which we'll need for a later. I'll decline on that one. For a later uh, quest, right here on the side. You'll see it. I actually have to look up at it because I'm so small, but it's right there. That's the quest book that you're going to be looking for when we do get the the next quest over here in this area. Because you're going to be doing yep. like four or five quests over here, and they're all going to. I'm going to no, pull no, if you want to just do your AOE. Good. My my Go. AOE does like three points of damage, <laughs> but I'll definitely use it. It's just not very efficient at the moment. Let's see what does it do. It does 39 to 47 damage, so. Yeah. What do you think about the pirates, man? I think they look pretty freaking hideous. Yeah, especially the trolls. They, yeah. Uh, I think that's their job, though, is to not look favorable. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you could make a troll look pretty good sometimes. I mean. <laughs> oh, can you? Can you really? <laughs> I don't know. Some people like them. They, they, they pick them as a class to play, and they, yeah. you know, swear by the fact that they, they're beautiful. <laughs> but, of course, you have the little, uh, you know, ships out here. I think there's an island over there as well, and it looks like there's a ship in the water. I don't think I've ever been to that island. Have you? No, I actually I didn't know if that was even uh, explorable, but I'm I'm willing to take a swim if you are. Yeah, yeah, let's go check it out. Again, right, let me kill this pirate that was about to eat you. Oh yeah, my my pet uh, he definitely likes taking on those guys for me. 
We, we worked out an arrangement. See, uh, <laughs> I take all the glory, and he does all the work. <laughs> <laughs> and if he doesn't like it, uh, I just despawn him. So, Ooh, yep. crap. Look at that, guys. A level 20 depth lurker. Pretty far away from me. It looks like a, a reef shark of some kind. Nice. So wow. just uh, be very, very careful with uh, coming out here. Now, you'll see the reflection in the water of the, uh, the the moon up there that's been destroyed a little bit. I think that happened in Luckland, right? Yeah. Oh, I went. I turned around. <laughs> oh, did you go the wrong way? Yeah. I um, I right-clicked, and it, it flipped me around for some reason. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just watch out because that shark is kind of moving in the direction. Oh, no, you're, you're good where you're at. Yeah. I'm, I'm tabbing, trying to see everything around me. Oh, well, if you hover, if you get the, the right look... Right on the edge of the water is where the butter zone is, guys. You have to get where the surface meets the actual water itself. You can see everything through the water. It's a little cheat. You know, it's not really the way the game is supposed to work out. You're not supposed to be able to see everything there is supposed to be down there. But if you find that right butter zone, all the fog goes away. The fog of, I guess, the fog of war is what they probably call it, except it's just, you know, the, the fog they put in the water so that you can't see far distances. It makes it a yeah. little bit more challenging for you. And, uh, you know, that all goes away, and you're able to see as clear as day down there and every mob that's uh, possibly coming at you. Am I even moving anymore? I think I am. Uh, I don't know. I, I see you, though. Know. I think I'm still um, moving. I can't tell. It's hard to... Let me zoom in. I'm, I'm catching up on you. See, now you can't see anything because I'm moving down. Yep. Mm. I think it's... Uh, I think we go to it. No, no, I'm still moving, I think. Are you still moving forward? I think so. Let me go all the way down. I don't think so. I don't think I'm moving forward anymore. Oh, yeah, I'm still moving down. I'm still moving forward. Let me go up. I am going to take some damage this way for sure. My swimming skill is not high enough, and I don't think I swim fast enough to get to the surface or the bottom. I wasn't even able to touch the ground. But when you start to drown, you actually start to take a little bit of damage. Seagulls. <laughs> Where are they at? Uh, right next to you, to your right. To my right. Seagulls? Really? Seagulls. Oh, over yeah, there on the land? Uh, no, no, they're in the uh, in the water. They just passed you. Maybe? See, I'm, catching, I'm, I'm swimming right at you. I'm catching up to you. Yeah, the, yeah I'm no longer wall. moving anymore. This is a wall. You can see my, my arms aren't flapping anymore. Yeah, this stuck. is pretty much leading us to the other islands. Well, that's kind of a disappointment that we couldn't get out there, but something to know yeah. about at least. Sometimes uh, you're able to get oh, past shark, those. Oh, shark. It was right under you. Oh, well, it's he's he's scary. no challenge for me. He's just a death it's lurker. Scary. He's just super <laughs> red, you know? He's, I'm going to wipe the floor <laughs> with that guy. <laughs> no, I don't think so. That guy would totally decimate us right now, guys. Loading, please wait. <laughs> right. Yeah, pick your spawn point is basically how that would turn out. But, yep. you know, we like to go off and explore. Some of you, as we mentioned before, may not like doing that, but some of the best stuff I found in the game... Uh, has been just because I've gone off uh, the beaten path and found yeah. a named guy just kind of sitting there. Like the, the programmers knew you were going to do it and they reward you for it. So it may be worth yep. it for you. It may not be. If you do the quest, to be honest, you do all the quests in a zone, chances are you're going to explore every part of that zone that they have to offer, except a few places that they kind of keep secret, even from the questers, you know? Yeah. And so you do kind of want to go up on that hill and get an overview sometimes and just kind of look around and be like, oh, you know, there's a ledge down there. It looks like there's some mobs down there. Let me go down there and take a look because it may be a named mob kind of hiding in the corner. Or there may be a cave there that has nothing to do with any quest. And you may be asking yourself, well, why put it there? Why did, why take the effort to put a uh, you know cave in there and all these mobs and even a named creature? Well, at some point, a lot of the time, the programmers, they put items in the game, especially when it comes to the terrain. They, they throw that stuff in really early so that later on they can go back and either add more mobs, they can add quest lines for those areas, things of that sort. So you'll find entire areas in certain maps that are devoid of everything. And it's because at some future date they either plan to do it or they just never got around to it or whatever the case may be. But that's why in, ter in the terrain you'll find, you know, just places that are like that. It's weird, you know, but very, very yep. cool to explore. But it's nice that they added them in. It allows us to find them, and maybe someday they'll actually add something to that area. Maybe, but chances are with the older zones, if you're in one of the older zones, 
the answer to that is probably going to be a no because yeah. they've, they've kind of moved on from those places. Not 100%. They might go back. There's always yeah. a chance. I was going to say, they, they've repurposed some zones uh, in live. Like, uh, so I, it's always possible. I don't like when they repurpose a zone, to be honest. I, I like the zone being its natural way. But if they want to add to the zone, that's yeah. perfectly fine with me. I, I, I don't mind that. It's like um, whenever they when they did Kazakh Troll. Uh, I See, thought it that was it. the worst uh, change they ever did. Yeah, it ruined it because I loved Kazakh Troll as the way it was. They made it a high-level zone, and I, it didn't really work all that well, to be honest. Ooh, I could use that. Oh, nice. Let me See, uh, I'll just read that uh, one. Yeah, read it because it's just that's that we don't use. Yeah, neither one of us because we're both <laughs> casters. So let me scribe my new spell right there. Actually, it's not a new spell. It's just an upgrade to the spell I already have. And oh. these uh, coral stones, remember, if yep. you're part of a guild... Oh, you can go ahead and do it if you know. Uh, um, if you're part of a guild, they give you um, these points that that go towards um, your, status your guild leveling up. And once your guild gets certain levels, they can get uh, different um, guild houses. Well, and that... And I was gonna say not oh, only that, but you can get those items that you can buy with those as well. Yeah. It does give you the nice. points. Yeah, status points, guys. They are um, they're kind of cool. I mean, they're they're not gonna be anything that blows you away, but if you want to buy like a crafting table to put in your guild hall or your own house, it's gonna be status points that you buy them with, and that's yep. how you get them right there. Have you slept? Nice Ooh, work. Yes. Yes. Yep, yeah, where I think we now need to get that book and kill Captain. I apologize, man. I mean, sometimes my uh, enthusiasm takes over and Ooh. I talk over people, and so I, I gotta, you know, calm down on that one a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. Right. There we go. Shinies. 45. Oh, another shiny. Two shinies over here. Put that other one. Oh, uh, four shinies. <laughs> nice. This is a nice little area, man. <laughs> yeah. Have you been down to the end of this beach? I think that was for a quest, too, right? To go all the way down to that, the end? I thought so, but um, I haven't haven't been down here in a long time. Might have to check it out. There might be another name, but we don't even know it. Could be. I mean, it definitely. Uh, I'm a decline on that one. Yeah. The only downside to not picking up the shinies, guys, if you don't need them, is that they don't respawn. And if they're not respawning, you don't get another chance at getting a different shiny from that spot. Because there are only so many spots in the zone. Some people will tell you that there there are no dedicated spots to shinies. I can tell you for a fact there are. Yeah. And if you go to the wiki, you will see that there there is dedicated spots. But for every for every shiny, there is like seven or eight spots that they can possibly spawn in. You can check all seven of those, and one of them will have a shiny in it. You want to check over here before we do the captain? Sure. Yeah, we can definitely uh, head over here and just do an explore. That's what this episode will be about, guys, is kind of exploring. We kind of got the bug from earlier when we went up on that mountain. We got that reward <laughs> yeah. of just a massive, beautiful view of uh, of the game. So, I don't think these guys have a lore and legend, right? The, no. The ogres or the uh, trolls, because they're not really ogres and trolls right now. They're just pirates. Yep. Yeah, it'll be later on. Let's see. Uh, not seeing any so far. Yeah, oh. no shinies yeah. either. Where's your pet at? Uh, he's your pet? no, he's he's out there somewhere running around killing stuff for me. <laughs> because I run in and out of stuff all over the place, and he has a hard time keeping up with just how many enemies want to kill me. But he does a pretty good job. I mean, I love him for it. I love him for trying. No, it doesn't seem like there's anything here. Well, crap! You got two guys on you. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. What with these guys? You yeah, wipe the floor with you, man. These guys are tough. You see how much hit points I have? <laughs> see how much damage I'm doing? These guys are a pushover, man. We kill these guys so easily. It's almost uh, kind of a sad to kill them because they have no chance whatsoever. <laughs> What's down here in the water? I bet you there's something down there. What if we go around the side? Yeah, I was going to say around the side here. Ooh, look at that. There's like a little waterfall. Oh, you know what? That's going to lead us back to the entrance to, uh, it, to where we yeah, started. Yeah, you're right. That's that's it. Yep, it's the, it's the Thunder Caves, guys. From the 13th Warrior. <laughs> Man, that is such a good movie, too. I loved it. I absolutely did. It's kind of you know um, sad that it just didn't really get the 
the views that it could have. You know, I think it kind of fell through the cracks. Kind yeah. of movie that a lot of people just didn't know it even came out. Or they didn't understand it. I, I mean, that's the story of Beowulf through the eyes of another person, pretty much. Yeah, I guess I guess you could look at it that way. Although, when you say Be- Beowulf, I think a lot of people go to that animated movie that just wasn't really that good. So, yeah. You... Well, it was preceding that movie, and um, it was it was Beowulf that they they never said his name, but they did call the monster Grendel. Yeah, but I mean, it was Norse legend, so they called a lot of monsters, you know, Grendel at that time too. Yeah. So, but I think you're right. I think it was probably, like you said, an adapt- adaptation of the the actual story because it really does fit. But you know, Antonio Banderas is a really good actor, and a lot of the people in that movie were really good actors, and it fit, man. It was just, it was nice. I liked it. I liked it quite a yeah. bit. But yeah, it was uh, just did not get the love that it could have. It was kind of like the movie Postman. That movie got so many Razzies, and it was one of my favorite movies growing up, so I don't know why so many people hated that movie. <laughs> you clicked it. You clicked it. <laughs> I already got it, man. I got it. Uh, Let's see. I'm, miss- I'm still missing a-, a couple of them. Yeah, same here. Especially those those shards. By the yeah. way, guys, those shards, really high, high in price uh, because you just – you find them all over the place, to be honest, but you just never find enough of them. And they, yeah. they go for so many freaking collections. So many of them. Did you, get, did you get your book? I did. Did you use? Yep. Did you use? Yeah, did you did use get you your use? books? Hey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kill them all. Why I have an accent like that from Texas, don't ask me, guys. But, you know, there it is. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice. Boom. What did we get here? Oh, that's not too bad. Nothing, nothing fantastic, but. No. Holy crap. I got a 96 on that roll. Wow, nice. my dice are broken for the next four years. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I got both of them actually. Do you want one of these? Nah, I'm fine. Okay, let me put on one of them. I need to stop rolling on the stuff I don't really need. <laughs> At least until you get one well, of each. Ooh, another quest. Nice work. What do we need to do now? Uh, we need to speak. Oh, so he's sending us over to the next spot. Yeah. Okay, well, we can head on over there. It's going to take us a few yeah, minutes to get in that direction. Yeah, we can get there and, and um, in the episode there. Yep, and we can get the harvester sack so that we can um, we can harvest if we want to and get into crafting. Cool. Yeah, crafting is, uh, is something else in this game, guys. It's kind of interesting, and it actually serves a lot of purposes, especially the food. Food is uh, really amazing stuff to craft, but you have to choose... Which way you want to go down? I think you can only have one right now, right? One crafting skill, and then, yeah. of course, uh, tinkering or... Adornment. Tinkering, adornment, yeah, there you go. Those two. Uh, you can pick and one of those two. The um, the crafting, you can actually make your own spells if you go um, the right way. Uh, everyone has abilities, and all those abilities can be upgraded. So if you want to get your warriors books to get them up so that you can get um, masters or grandmasters then uh, you can route or if you want to make your own armor there's there's so much things that you can do in this game as far as crafting versus say um actually this has always been like that it's just been harder than it is here yeah i mean and when you're in a guild the crafting becomes a lot easier too because they finally added, not too long ago, a crate that you could put in your guild hall that you would automatically use the resources in there. And that crate Greetings. has like thousands of spots. So very, very easy for you to uh, just kind of sit there for, you know, an hour or so and craft recipe after recipe after recipe and kind of level up that way. Absolutely. And we're going to take the little, little griffin, little blue, yellow griffin. On our on our journey, guys, a magic little carpet ride, because it's a whole new. No, I'm not gonna think of that one. Yeah, but yeah. It's... <laughs> this is a nice way to get a view of the zone. If you've never been to it and you're not sure what that zone has to offer, you can fly through it like this and just kind of check it out, see Ready? what level. <laughs> yeah, you can jump off. You can hit the space button a lot oh. of the time and, and jump off, and hopefully you have safe fall or some kind of glide. Uh- it wouldn't matter if I'd die. They're, these mobs are level 20. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, like I said, it's a good way to kind of see what's around. And you might find a spot in the zone that's your, your level, you know, just further in or on the other side. 
I think it was Lesser Fate Arc. You come in on one side, it's like level 30. You go in on the other side, it's like level 50. So, yeah, yeah big, big variation on levels on that one. Ooh, look at the temple, guys. Look at the temple. You know, I never really explored too much over here. I want to kind of jump down in that temple. There was a hole that yeah. led you to some kind of like sewer system down there. Yep, and there's a, there's a name on the top of it, and the sewer you'll you'll die in the sewer system if you uh, if you know what you're doing. And there's a lot of names on this little island that we're about to head to, guys. So you'll see us yep. kill quite a few of them a couple times, actually. So. Yep. Although I think that's a little bit far. Yeah, it's a little bit farther away. We still have one more area before we can finally get to that area. To to be honest, so. A couple more videos in the future, you'll be able to see that. Absolutely. But yeah, this is um, this is a pretty uh, pretty big place. Uh, let me think about it. There's uh, over, uh, I think it's two or three sets of armor that you get by just doing these three islands. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's really nice. But I think guys, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, we're gonna end it with the bang because we're attacking a level 14 crocodile oh, named, who the happens crocodile. to spawn. <laughs> yeah, he, he actually has a rich watch inside of him that you can hear ticking away right now. He's not Peter Pan. Uh, but <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice name to kill whenever you come back over here to town to sell or anything along those lines. <laughs> shoes. Ooh, those are actually really nice shoes, too. Yep. Nice. Seven intelligence. We're going to be killing that guy a lot. But, guys, yep. I want to thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps both of our channels to grow, and we greatly appreciate it. If you're watching my channel, make sure to head on over to Cypher Deck. Check out his stuff. He's going to be doing some new games here in the future. Uh, you said you're doing Skyrim right now, right? Yes, I am. So look forward to those episodes, and he's going to be kind of role-playing it as well. So if you want to see like that kind of aspect to the videos, uh, definitely uh, go check them out. Again, guys, until next time. This is Cypher Deck. And this is AC Gamer. Peace out. Subscribe.